Hi, I'm Phyllis from southernfrugal.com. This morning uh, for the smoothie we're going to use some kale. And uh, this is just a regular kale like what I've been using. It's grown right in the county right next to us. And uh, you can get it at Walmart, Ballo, Piggly Wiggly, but not we don't have Piggly Wiggly here anymore, but they do in other places. And uh, anyway, it's uh, Rawls and Sons and it's just grown in Lexington, South Carolina. I think it's all over now. And the other thing we're going to do is we're going to do the coconut oil again. And the reason we are is because it held us really, really well yesterday. I only put a little over a tablespoon in the smoothie and it held us every bit as good as the peanut butter or the uh, sunflower seeds. So this is definitely a keeper. We also super enjoyed the little sweetness that add maple syrup did. And this is the pure maple syrup so And so anyway, here's the other things that we're going to have in it. Today I thought, I can't see my screen. There, I hope y'all can see that. Anyway, I'm going to add some lime juice to this morning. I, I love the way lime tastes, but I haven't tried it in a smoothie yet, so we're going to do that. Plus, I'm going to do the juice of four oranges. And by the way, these oranges are just super, super good. And a couple of pretty large bananas. All right, so I'm going to get everything peeled and whatever, and uh, we'll be back. Okay, welcome back, y'all. I said, y'all. We were just talking about that. Um, in the South, we say y'all, meaning all of you. And uh, some people say, let me think how to say this now, because I don't use this, but some people do Ewanses. Ewanses, come, come see us again. And, uh, and uh, you know, Ewanses, don't be a stranger, meaning y'all come back soon, right? Anyway. We were uh, talking about that this morning, how in different parts of the country they say Ewans and uh, Ewanses, meaning all of you. And uh, I think they say that up north too. I don't know, but uh, I think they do. Anyway, I can't see my camera. I can't, I can't see my background, but I'm assuming this is in view. Okay. All right. No. It's not completely in view. Maybe that is. Okay, so we're going to put the kale in. This is just regular kale. And by the way, the kale is the one that makes us feel the best. I'm going to put a little over a tablespoon of the organic coconut oil because it holds us. And you're not going to gain weight from this. 120 calories in a tablespoon, but your body doesn't quite use that fat to put on fat. In other words, fat doesn't make fat. Carbohydrates make fat, though. They do. All right, so I've got my um, kale in. Let me put it up here. Now, now you can see it, right? Oh, the sun is so bright. All right, so we've got the kale in and the uh, coconut oil. And I'm going to go ahead and put, this is just a organic carrot in, not a very big one. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put my bananas in now. They're pretty big. Let me get my compost little container here. Now these bananas were really, really pretty at the farmer's market. And of course most of them I froze, but some of them I kept out. So see how big that is? And perfectly ripe. Now I noticed on some of the videos they said that you needed to have, uh, you know, those little black marks all over it so the banana would be really sweet. Mm, I don't like them that way. I think when they're overripe, they're, to me they don't taste as good as they do when they're just perfectly ripe. But anyway, I guess everybody's got their opinion on that. All right. All right, now I'm going to go ahead. I 
think I'll dump my orange juice in now. Now these uh, oranges, the latest ones I got, make four of them make two cups of orange juice with tons of pulp. I don't know if you can see that or not, but a lot of the pulp comes out when I juice them, which is great. All right, so that's two full cups. Now this morning, we're not using the uh, almond milk. And, and not that I don't really love the almond milk, but I'm just trying to uh, do a big variety of stuff. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in some maple syrup. Now we use these uh, the maple syrup on pancakes and we don't really have pancakes that often. So I'm gonna put in a couple of tablespoons. And by the way, I went ahead and juiced the lime right behind juicing the oranges. All right, so now I'm gonna put in just a little bit of ice. You know, just about three handfuls of ice. So we're gonna see how this is gonna turn out. I might not have enough liquid in it, and if I don't, I'm going to add water. All right, let me get a spoon. I thought of something else we say, and I know I do this all the time. And I remember the oldest son doing this a lot. He'd say, hold on, like, you know, hold on to the telephone. But if you're, like, if you had to go get something, or like when I go get the spoon, I say, hold on. <laughs> I don't know why we do that. All right, here you go. Let me move in closer. I think the only thing I can see is the top of this thing, so hopefully, hopefully you're in the picture. All right, so here we go. This morning, which is good. All right, I'm gonna taste of this. Are y'all ready? I'm really hoping this is not gonna be too sour. I'm not putting any more sweetener in it, even if it is. Okay, I can taste the banana. It's still just a little bit sour. I just refuse to put any more maple syrup in it. I can, I can taste the banana and the orange. 
and I'm sure I'm tasting the lime. I'm not going to put any more lime in it for a while until I come up with some other better way to do it. I certainly can't taste the carrot or the kale, and I would bet you're getting a ton of vitamin C in this one. The juice of four of those oranges. And the oranges were fairly sweet, so I'm thinking the little bit of sour is coming from that lime. I like lime, but I also want it sweet enough. It grows on you. It's good. It's very refreshing. Mm. Yeah, I'm liking it. All right, we will see y'all next time. See, I said y'all. We'll see y'all next time.